welcome to the lab at Discovery Island. I'm Miss Greta and having a great day. I hope you are. So this month we are talking about the word compassion. And that is just simply caring enough about someone else's need that you actually help them. And you know, it makes me think of Jesus because you know, I've heard Miss Phyllis tell you guys on Sunday morning that Jesus was the best role model that we could have. And we try to do our, live our life like that and follow like and do after Jesus did, then we are honoring God when we do that. So Jesus, again, I told you, so compassionate for people. And so I got a story. It makes me think about when in Mark chapter 2, and Jesus comes into contact with a man who was lame. Now this man, he could not stand up. He could not walk, much less dance. He could not do any of that. And when Jesus saw him, he felt such compassion for him that he wanted to help this friend in need. And so, of course, Jesus did. And the man was able to walk. And you know, he was able to jump and dance. So now we're going to just dive right into our own experiment. So I have a marker here and a glass pie plate. And I'm going to draw a stick figure on my glass plate, OK? Now, this is not a regular marker. It's not a Sharpie. It is a dry erase marker. And there's my little man. So I'm going to add a little water to it. And we're going to see what happens when we do that. OK? So I don't pour it very, very fast. I kind of go slow. And then I can move the water around a little bit. And I want you to look and see the little man is now lifted over the plate, and he's moving and dancing. And you're like, Miss Greta, how is that possible? Well, let me get to the science. Now, as I said, markers are made, ink, all kinds of pens, are, the ink is made to stick to whatever surface you are writing on. Now, permanent markers, you know, they have special adhesives in those to make them stick to everything. But now dry erase markers are different. So when I write with a dry erase marker, the only thing that is left on this surface is wrapping alcohol and pigment. That's it. So now when I added water to my surface, okay, it dissolves the alcohol, it went right away, and all was remaining was the pigment, which was a solid. Now, because this glass is very smooth, when I added the water, it just lifted the pigment right up off of the plate. Isn't science so much fun? Now, and you're like, what does this have to do with my story? Well, if you remember when I showed you the stick figure when I first threw him on the plate, could he move? No, he could not move. But when Jesus came into the picture in the story, the man was able to walk. So when I added the water, you could see that the little man started moving my stick figure. Isn't that exciting? Okay, let me read a Bible verse for you now. And it comes from Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. And it says, In the same way, let your light shine in front of others. Then they will see the good things that you do, and they will praise your Father who is in heaven. So, as I said, when we model Jesus, then we are doing that. So, I want you to go out there, and I want you to show others how much you care about them by helping them. All right, have a great day!